throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, with another Clash of Clans video. This is your boy Bliss24 for sure, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some three-star attacks. As you guys may know, we just lost our one gem boost. The promotion has just ended. We have about 23 hours left for the Ice Wizard, and then the Freeze Trap is about 24 hours left as well. And then we have the Santa Surprise, which I never use, but the upcoming events that we have, it will be the Dragon Event, which is one day and 21 hours. I'm trying to tell you guys, I'm trying to promote the Dragon, because the Black Dragon is coming. And if when it does happen, I want you guys to say that Blitz said it first here on this channel. Okay, a couple other things that I want to look at that I didn't quite address last time was the other updates uh, besides the Wizard Tower being available at Town Hall. The level 9 Wizard Tower being available at Town Hall 10. Uh, the Poison Spell Radius has slightly been increased. Witch Damage Witches have got a buff. They're awesome now, so if you have Witches, train them up, use them. Uh, Balloon, Dragon, and Pekka all have improved attack speed. We talked about Balloons last time, but I did not mention the Dragon or the Pekka. And then several other um, upgrade costs and, and times have been reduced, which is pretty awesome. Getting right into it, let's look at some three-star attacks because I had to share it with you guys. And I'm very proud of this three-star attack because I want to say, I'm going to trademark it. I'm going to say that I have created it. I made it possible and it's just an awesome attack it can be used at town hall 11 10 and 9 let's go ahead and jump right into it with the replay this was done about uh, about a day and a half ago now the only thing that you can see here is the wizard towers are down besides one of them so about four of them are down i don't know if there were cc troops or not but the queen is down uh, is down as well but the reason i wanted to show an example here is just because other than that it's pretty much a maxed out town hall 11 we do have one Inferno that's on single, so this this raid was really in my benefit, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly how I kind of do things. My first overall goal is I want to kind of bait out the clan castle if I can get it, and also take out the queen and an air defense and air sweeper if possible. When dealing with a Town Hall 11, as you can see here, I want to move in on this Eagle Artillery because this is a big deal. The Eagle Artillery can shred up your balloons pretty quickly because you guys do know that the Eagle Artillery, Eagle Artillery does do minor splash damage. So you got to watch out for that when you're doing this attack. So what you want to do is you want to start off with about four, three to four giants. Uh, I have upgraded to four. You want to have about three Valkyries. Just the Valkyries are to take out the Queen and to kind of tank for your, your heroes and your wizards a little bit. And to help out those giants as you can see my king has made it into the radius of the defending clan castle so now we have a dragon and some balloons on the way but it's all right because our queen has full health just about we have a poison spell she's going to go to work on that dragon as the balloons approach they will dramatically slow down giving the queen enough time to take him down i don't even have to pop the royal cloak which is a good thing she's going to move in on this cannon i'm going to take out a few more structures before i start releasing my balloons so here come the balloons along with the Lava Hound. The Lava Hound is going to tank for the balloons as you guys know. This is going to be your normal standard Lava Lunion type raid. You're going to have the Warden along with the balloons to kind of give them that buff. And I only carry about three rage spells. I don't even know if that's necessary. I may go down to two rage spells. But let's just for the sake, you know, sake of argument here, we're going to use three rage spells just to get us through. But you want to mainly use haste spells because with the buff, if you want to consider the buff with the balloons, they are now just monsters because they do that initial drop so quickly, you don't even necessarily need to stack up on rage spells because they pretty much one shot everything. If you can get about three balloons to hover, hover over a defense, they will take it out in about you know, half a second now. Um, which is pretty awesome your biggest threat with, with balloons are your wizard towers and your air defenses and obviously air bombs and stuff like that but with the lava hounds tanking for them you shouldn't have too much problems but that's why i'd rather have the warden flying with the balloons rather than supporting the ground team um 
what makes this attack a little bit different from other attacks that I've seen that people that use the traditional uh, golem is you know you just want to take a, a handful of giants and it gives you more space so you have four giants you got oh also a hog rider just for those instances where you can't get the giant you want to use a hog rider in order to bait out that clan castle you're going to use about three valkyries eight minions or so and the rest balloons uh two lava hounds and about 18 balloons four wizards so that's how that works you want to carry about three three rage spells and the rest uh hay spells and then in the clan castle now as you guys know town hall 11 does carry uh, an extra slot in the clan castle which is awesome and you can use that in order to store a free spell so i'm going to go back to our previous war before the war we just had um so it's the second if you want to say second to last something like that anyway it was a very 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 close uh, war 38 to 37 I'm very proud of you guys um, rage you guys did an awesome job we fought hard and we fought well and we came out with a W but what I wanted to show you guys as well is that this attack can be used at a town hall 10 level so let's look at the number four attack here done by Archer Queen now and now as you can see this is a max out town hall 10 Let's see, besides maybe the bomber tower over here. So as you can see, she's dropped the giants with some wizards behind. Here come the Valkyries. She baited out that clan castle, and conveniently for her, the queen is right by the clan castle, and there's an air defense. Poison spell goes down. She moves in with her royals. The, royal, the king is going to move in on that queen, which is perfect. Actually, is that a, that's a skeleton spell, I believe. No? Another poison. That's poison spell that went down. Uh, the king takes out the defending queen, which is very good news here. We're going to have the archer queen start moving in on this air defense. She's doing her job exactly what she needs her to do. The royal cloak is about to be popped. There it is. She should be able to take out that clan castle and that air sweeper if she gets to it in time. Maybe. Possibly. No. But that's okay. So we got the queen down, the clan castle down, and we have an air defense down. So we only have three air defenses to worry about. Here come the balloons and lava hounds. Nice spread here. So now she's working on the two outer air defenses, one by the inferno, because you want to take out that multi inferno as quickly as possible. So you're going to see a lot of hay spells go down here in this area to get to that uh, multi inferno just in time. They take it out no problem. Look at this nice spread of balloons here. Now the lava hounds are going to go to the last remaining air defense, giving those balloons time to make it there in time. She still has an extra free spell. To cover her she didn't really even need it because that last inferno was on single but I guess she carried it for ins insurance which is awesome balloons are gonna move in on this last air defense they should get there in time take it out now they're gonna move in for the archer tower which is the last defending unit that can actually bother them besides any type of air bombs I'm gonna speed it up because the rest of this is clean up and as you can see town hall 10 on town hall 10 it is another three-star attack so golems are not necessary I mean you can use a golem but I like to use giants preferably in this example she used three giants three raw bakers uh, four wizards two valkyries one hog and she used about 20 balloons and 10 minions here so she gave herself a little bit extra you know some extra balloons and minions which there's nothing wrong with that however you want to kind of twist it to your own flavor and style it's absolutely fine let's look at another one this is a town hall 9 attack now town hall 9 on a town hall new town hall 10 but it's a town hall 10 with no inferno so pretty much town hall 9 on town hall 9 here comes the giant to bait out that plant those clan castle troops and instead of coming from that approach she's gonna move down here in the bottom now with a town hall 9 she does bring a golem which you may want to bring a golem for a town hall 9 because you would need that golem to kind of tank for your heroes a little bit longer because you don't have the extra slot space as a town hall 10 to kind of get all the troops that you need in order to uh, do what you need to do so the queen they, she has now taken out the clan castle troops you have the king that's moving down in this corner wall breakers go down now you have two Valkyries and the King moving in on this air defense, so it's looking good. Um, I can only say that her position was perfect in this raid because you have the King splitting up with the Queen, and now the Queen is moving down to this more southern air defense. So does the King take it down? Yes, he does. King will go down shortly. 
queen will take out this air defense right before she goes down. She goes down, both royals down, but we have two air defenses down and the clan castle and the defending queen. So we are looking good. Here comes the lava hounds, two, two hounds on one air defense. Balloons moving in. Here come the hay spells going down. They're moving in on those archer towers, which are the only threat right now. As you can see, the expo is set to ground. We have some Teslas and some flying Larrys, so they could be a problem. Let's see how they get dealt with. Maybe are they going to be dealt with? Okay, here we go. We got a lava pup that's on it. The rest of the balloons are moving around. All the air defenses are down at this point. There's nothing else that can stop these balloons besides this wizard tower and these two Teslas. But I don't think it's going to be a problem, especially with that rage bell so close. It's going to give those balloons enough time to get to those Teslas and take them out with ease. Should be one drop. Boom. One drop. Do it. Kadoosh. All right. So we're done with that. Now we have these little Larrys that we have to worry about. Hopefully these balloons fly close to a lava pup and takes care of the Larrys. But besides that, man, that's another three-star attack. And I just wanted to kind of make a statement and a point here that this this tag is pretty legit i don't know if it's somewhere else, somewhere else out there but i have kind of created this attack and been experimenting with it and so now i've passed it all to my clan mates and with the, the whole new buff with the balloons it's just been working pretty pretty good so i just wanted to share that with you guys we're going to go ahead and cut this video here because i don't want to go too long but thanks for sharing some time with me guys make sure to punch the subscribe button and uh, yeah, check in with me. I'm not going to say daily, but make sure that your notifications are on because I know sometimes YouTube can be kind of funky with that. But uh, yeah, just make sure you guys are being vigilant and aware. And I will see you guys in the next Clash of Clans video. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. And I'll see you guys later.